yo 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 what up so back here at uh farm some sanook today we're going to be going through the step-by-step -step process of you know collecting cashew apples and turning it into alcohol we have the uh man in charge right here and uh first first step is going to be collecting the cashew apples and then uh sort through them wash them off and we will continue on from there. I just like using oh, a, yeah. a stick with a nail in it so I don't have to bend. Otherwise I get a Coming back to it at night. Brilliant. So this is towards the end of the harvest. There's not that many left. Harvest goes for about a month. Okay. Good. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go next step. We'll see you guys at the uh, washing station. All right, so the next point is to uh, take away the, the nut from the apple. What we do is we separate the good looking apples. So this is a very nice apple. With these apples, we will make, we will distill uh, the fenny. So we'll separate that. We've got a nut that is a big nut. If the nut is big enough, so we're looking at a size like this versus a size like this, then uh, that's big, that's small. This we will produce into Afterwards, the cashew nuts, so that's when it's done. You will have the cashew nut coming out beautiful Ooh. like this. This has to be skinned, and that's basically what we're doing. So at this station, at this stage, we're separating the good apples, the big nuts, and the small nuts. And that's basically all we're doing. And uh, from the good apples, we turn them into alcohol, and the bad apples, we basically feed to the animals afterwards. Yeah, that's basically it. All right, folks, we got the washing process down and we are now moving on to the next stage. So what happens after the wash, the good apples that we have is we throw them in here in these uh, big barrels. And uh, basically what we want is the sugar to turn into alcohol. So they have a lot of sugar. And if you see, if you look at here, you can see there's already quite a bit of liquid here. Mm. That means they're fermenting right now. Uh, and the moment usually takes about a month. So we will know this um, by the moment they start to uh, produce the gas fermentation, then that's good for us. And that's when we're ready basically to start to distill. Yeah. While I hold it. So what you can see right now is that there's a lot of activity in the barrel. That's from the fermentation. This is a gas. Uh, this is an air seal. So this is airtight. There's nothing going in, but the air can come out. And basically the bubbles are like, it's like kind of a pea trap in the toilet. That's only it. So this basically just helps that nothing goes in and we can say there's activity inside. Once this starts to bubble, we know, uh, once it stops, I mean, sorry, we know that it's done inside and, uh, and we're good to, firm to distill. So here, this barrel is already in for over a month. So you can see there's no more activity. That's how we tell, that's how we know that uh, this barrel is good. So what happens here, you can see after a month in there, you've got, um, you've got a lot of liquid. These are have nicely fermented. It's a beautiful smell. It's a very nice juice Excellent. really. Yeah, so you can see what we do is we test it. Optimal would be that we have about 5% alcohol content. So it's pretty much like a beer. So we're taking a, hydrometer, very basic, put some juice in there, and we're trying to figure out if we're okay, if we're at 5%, that will be perfect. So right now, we are exactly at 5%. You can see the line at top is 10%, so we're right in the middle between there, so it's 5%. This is a perfect time for us to start the distilling process. All right, so right now we're at uh, at the process of taking out the juice. 
We want pure juice, we don't want any uh, pieces in it, bits and pieces, so we use cheesecloth to basically just get a pure, beautiful juice out of it. Uh, we squeeze it, we do everything manual still, this is our first year, so we're just trying everything out, so everything is done manually. Now you're thinking, oh my god, this guy is touching with his hands, the juice and all, but remember, when you distill it, there's nothing in it anymore, because all you take is the vape that comes out of it, and you liquidate that again into some alcohol. So. If I touch this or not, there's nothing going to be of this in your drink at all. Now what happens is, what we're doing is we take the leftover of this, and that's being fed to our animals. Mm. And the juice basically, the pure juice afterwards, is then distilled. Now the distillation process right now is manually done. You don't have a pump. What we do is we put the juice in the bottom here. Uh, this is heated up by gas. It goes through, goes through a tube here. It needs to be cooled down in order to for the weight to basically uh, for the steam to become liquid again. And then what happens is it drips down here into this little jug here. And you can see this is when it comes out on top here. Look, that's the pure alcohol that comes out. So we're now at. First distillation, that's 20% alcohol. This is basically the pure juice after a month because it's relatively warm, it's a bit sour. Okay, so it's almost like a, almost like a cider, basically. Naturally fermented. If this was iced, probably be quite nice to drink. 5% of alcohol, you can get drunk from that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> How this is. It's really good. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> nice. And yeah. All right. So now we've got the. This is a twenty percent uh, distilled. Uh, Alcohol basically, okay. So we're just gonna give you a sip to try. You can chuck it all down, you can just sip it up to you. <laughs> Tastes amazing. It's good, eh? Yeah. So what we're doing is uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a little cocktail. Okay, we're just gonna uh, get a couple fresh organic lime from our garden. Put them in there. Get a couple of uh, leaves. This is this is lime or lemon mint. So it smells really nice. If you smell it, it smells like lemon. Just squeeze it, squeeze it a little bit. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, this yeah. is also from our garden. So our, everything is straight out of our garden, organically grown. We use cow dung and chicken shit, basically. Sorry, to uh, um, you know as a fertilizer. We get this uh, squeezed up a little bit here. Just want to get some soap, get some uh, good taste in there. I think probably do a couple more leaves in there as well. That'd be nice, you know. All right, that'll be real nice. Very refreshing. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a. Basically a shot of this penny and the small one. Just keep that in shot. What we're gonna do is get some ice in there. Give it a bit of a stir here. We can mix it up a little bit. Now we give it another bit of ice. Now you can do this in many different ways, I suppose. I like to throw in a bit of Fizzy soda. That is infused itself also with a, with a bit of lime. So now we got a we got ourselves a nice cocktail.
It's going to be so good. Here we <laughs> go, sir. Cheers. <laughs> I don't take that for you. Cheers, everybody. That is amazing. <laughs> that is so good. Awesome, you see? And everything is made from these trees. Yeah. And this is a byproduct. I mean, this is a waste product. You know, people just throw it away and and we just figure you make something out of it. You can make some beautiful cocktails. On a hot day like this, there's nothing better than that. Seriously. All right. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in and until next time. No, I'll get one for myself. Yeah. <laughs>